Hey guys, my name is Neil Young and I'm an administrative assistant here at the Southern Allegheny's Museum of Art in Altoona. So welcome back to our weekly online art lesson again. Uh, th today we're looking at a new piece of artwork. So this piece behind me is actually a permanent piece that we have displayed here in Altoona. This is an uh, artist, Daniel Burke, and he actually had a show here years ago, but this piece is called Habitat. And I really wanted to point this out because it's similar to the piece that I showed you last week. Uh, the striped piece. So you guys can actually construct something like this at home. Um, this is actually just a bunch of sticks and then these little birds, um, you can actually go buy these at the craft store. Uh, they're pre-cut out little pieces of wood and then um, behind it they just use clothespins. So maybe with your parents help you could try uh, building something like this. So then with our art lesson. Um, so the past couple weeks we have been learning about some great artists of our history and we start to learn a lot about different art movements and stuff, so I thought we could have a little more creative freedom this week. Uh, we'll change it up. This week, we're going to be drawing our shoe. So with that, um, go find your very favorite shoe, uh, just one of them, and then meet me back here and we're gonna start drawing it. All right guys, so now that you probably have your favorite shoe, um, I'm gonna be drawing a, a Vans classic black and white shoe, so it's gonna be pretty simple. But this works even if it's a boot or um, a flat or anything like that. So now that we have that, um, we're going to want to place this in front of us somewhere. So this is very important because basically if we wanna place it like this, we have to keep it this way. So when we're drawing from life, we can't move it. So um, let's get it placed how we like. You could have it facing this way or on an angle, however you want it. So first, just start looking at your shoe and pay attention to the different lines, uh, maybe the rubber at the bottom, how thick that is in comparison to the top. And we're going to start out just by drawing the sole, so the bottom line of the shoe. So this will be different for all of us, so if yours doesn't look like mine, that's totally okay. So are you guys enjoying the nice weather? Uh, today would be a great day to actually take your drawing outside and maybe use the natural lighting. Thank you, Kylie. So do you guys listen to music whenever you draw? I 
have music quietly playing in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. But what's your favorite type of music to listen to whenever you draw? Feel free to comment and Oh, that's a good idea, Kylie. That's what I tend to do, just play like online radios. So I hope you guys can see what I'm drawing here. Um, like always, I'm gonna end up outlining it with Sharpie so you can see it a little bit better. But I'm just going to get my first lines down with a pencil. Sometimes when drawing an outline, I tend to be pretty sloppy with it, but it kind of looks cool whenever you sketch it. You're right, Kylie, it really does keep it interesting. I also find that the kind of music that I listen to impacts, like, what I'm drawing. So guys, how are your outlines coming along? Um, I'm starting to get something that looks like my shoe. Um, it's getting there. But how are yours coming along?
All right guys, so now that I have like the basic outline, I'm pretty much paying attention to the stitching along um, the different parts of the shoe. So you'll see the white stitching. So I'm gonna start drawing that. Um, if you guys have any detail in your shoes or um, fun laces or something like that, uh, start drawing those um, if you're ready. You can depict the uh, shadows if you would like. Um, it depends on your lighting. If you have shadows on it, yes, go ahead and do it. That's a good question, Kylie. So like I said earlier, uh, we've learned about a couple artists in the past couple weeks, and I'm sort of getting um, like an Andy Warhol vibe from this. So like I said in his lesson, you know, he was drawing objects that were in pop culture. So in a way, this is an outline drawing like what he would do. Oh, so Kylie, that's a really good question. So the darkest part of the shoe is basically going to be the farthest point away from you. So um, I mentioned this in one of our other lessons. If an object is a little bit farther away from you, it, it tends to be a little bit darker in color. Now also, if you happen to be outside and you have really good sunlight, you might not have too many shadows. But um, like in here, I, I don't really have many shadows due to the lighting. But um, if you have a shadow that's casting below the shoe, feel free to draw that in as well, and that'll be a little bit darker than the ground. Alright guys, I'm pretty happy with my outline so far. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start outlining mine with a fine point sharpie. Um, use whatever you have, maybe a pen um, or marker or even a crayon would work. Oh, Kylie, that's a good point too. So the lighter areas are going to be pretty much whatever's closest to you and then also whatever the sun or uh, source of light is hitting. So if the light is coming from like the top and it's shining on the very front of your shoe, like where the laces are, then that'll be lighter than the back of your shoe. I can elaborate more on uh, some of the shading and uh, the shadows and stuff like that later on um, or in the next lesson when we continue the shoe. Uh, this is going to be an ongoing project of ours and um, basically today we're just going to get down the solid outline of the shoe. Um, and then you have the option that if you would like to color in your shoe today as well, feel free to.
I apologize for the dog barking, everyone. There's a dog being walked past the museum. Alright guys, so I pretty much have my outline done now. I'm just going to go and touch up a few little areas with this. Um, continue on with your uh, outline. And like I said, so next week we're going to, or on Thursday, correction, we are going to continue on with this shoe uh, drawing. So keep a hold of it. It is not finished today, but we will finish it on Thursday. Alright guys, I hope that your outline of your shoe is close to being complete. If it's not, continue on for us so you have it ready for next week. But um, I'm curious to see what shoes you guys have used. Uh, like I said, I just used a classic van, which is a pretty simple shoe, kind of like a Converse. But I'm hoping that some of you chose some really cool shoes. Like always, uh, if you guys have really enjoyed these art lessons, feel free to donate to the Southern Allegheny's Museum of Art. And I will post the link of that in the description, uh, or in the comment section, I mean after this video ends. And also, I have talked about this, on, or this uh, student gallery multiple times. So we're going to call it the uh, Gallery A Go Go. So this is going to be a project where if you guys send us your complete lessons, uh, we'll print them out and then we'll actually put them on the windows here. So your family can uh, walk or uh, drive past the museum and see your artwork on display. So um, I included my email last week, but I'm gonna do that again. So just email those pictures to us. So uh, thank you like always, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Thanks.